despite the fact that the administration is trying to redefine what a recession is, I believe it's to stay the course, in my opinion, in the next 24, 36 months, you will come out on top. And what, the reason why I'm telling you this, because I was around 2007, 2008, the people who stayed the course, who did not panic, did well for themselves. Absolutely. Risk for impact, like I said yesterday, this week is not going to be a good week for the market at all. Although big guys are reporting this week and we're not expecting anything positive. Matter of fact, Alphabet reported today. They missed on earnings and revenues, but they did better than what was expected. It was expected the worst, but they did better. Microsoft also missed on estimates, but their stock went up 5% because of a worse guidance. And Coinbase, the last few weeks or months have not been very good for Coinbase. Stock's been falling off a cliff. And last week, remember we covered that story about a product manager of Coinbase was indicted and charged with insider trading. So now this morning, today, Bloomberg is reporting that Coinbase is being investigated by US, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. According to Bloomberg, Coinbase is being investigated by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission for improperly allowing trading in several tokens that should have been listed as securities. Coinbase, guys, has been putting under a microscope lately. The stock closed down 21% today based on that news alone. So we're wishing Coinbase luck because things has not been very good lately, guys. Also, Shopify closed down 14% today after the company says that it will lay off 10% of its workers. Dow, the Dow closes down 228 points today, the S&P 545 points, and the Nasdaq 221 points. The whole point of this video, guys, is to let you know this is just getting started. The Fed are still meeting. We're expecting between 75 and 100 basis points. So based on what they do tomorrow, the market will react either positively or negatively. We're expecting GDP numbers at the end of the week. This is the first, this is a good time to be alive, actually. The administration is trying to redefine recession. GDP numbers coming out at the end of this, of this week. We're not expecting positive numbers. So now, the administration has been going around redefining the definition of a recession. So we'll have to wait and see how the market's going to react to the GDP numbers coming out at the end of the week. Do not make any irrational decisions based on short-term news. Doesn't matter what they do. They can try to redefine recession however they want to. Not your problem. Don't worry about it. Be very intentional. In the next three to six months, put yourself in position so you can come out on top in the next 36 to 60 months. That's all that matters. All these companies, they're all at a discount. Not at the lowest yet, but that's coming. Hold all your cash, save your money. The opportunity will come. With recession, come opportunities. Put yourself in position so you can take advantage. Despite the fact that the administration is trying to redefine what a recession is, I believe it's to stay the course. In my opinion, in the next 24, 36 months, you will come out on top. And what, the reason why I'm telling you this is because I was around 2007, 2008. The people who stayed the course, who did not panic, did well for themselves. With that said, I will see you in the next one. Later.